Hi everyone, welcome to this video review. I want to uh, do something different for a change, so I kind of brainstormed. I came up with the idea of doing um, comparison reviews between 5.5 inch Ranger teams from the earlier Bandai days. Bandai, Bandai's 5.5 figures were my favorite, specifically from uh, tur Turbo Shifter figures to RPM. Turbo Shift figures was when they finally started having the male and uh, fem female specified body builds and they all did look the same. So we got some really beautiful figures as a result. So yeah, I'm gonna do something I'm gonna try out and if it goes well, I can definitely continue this. So let's get started here. And one thing I do want to note is that I do have the light speed ranges facing the camera, just like the Time Force figures. For some reason, it looks like they're staring off to the left. I have no idea why. So which ranger t uh, team of figures do I like the best? It's hard to choose. Um, I love the Time Force suits way better than the light speed rescue suits because of the extra colors and their overall design is a lot more appealing than Lightspeed. However, I prefer the Lightspeed Rescue figures a little bit more than Time Force, only because of how the females look. Now, what I mean by that is, for the longest time uh, with Bandai, starting from uh, the Turbo Shifter figures all the way to RPM, they made the females considerably smaller, like the light speed females, and the males a little bit larger. And I was always kind of used to seeing that in Ranger figures, that the Time Force females kind of threw me off when they were made a little bit bigger and, a little, and slight bit bulkier, that I just wasn't used to seeing them the way they are, that it kind of throws me off. That's the only little reason but the time first guys i love them the way they made the figures the light speed rescue guys guy figures i do not like them one at all i will get into that why and i'll explain why what my issue is there and um yes but they are at neck and neck with me so it's not like light speed is way up there and time force is like way down if we were to use percentage Percentages, I would say Time Force is like 99% and and Light Speed is like 99.9%. <laughs> yes, so that's uh, my overall opinion of them. And one thing that Bandai had going for them is that every year they changed up the mold of the figures so that's something i miss with bandai and something i enjoyed this was prominent uh, between uh, from mighty morphin all the way to um rpm it happened specifically from the turbo shifter figures to rpm that's when they were like testing out the molds like the figures yes they had a little bit of similarities but for the most part, they did have a lot of differences. As you can tell, Time Force on the right and Lightspeed on the left, while there are some differences, the figures do have... There are some differences there. And I will show you what those differences are. So here's um, the Time Force Red Ranger. And I do want to uh, take note, in case you guys didn't watch my um, Time Force, what was it called? The That's right, the Mega Pack review. The set of Time Force figures I got were an odd bunch. They were the same Time Force figures back from 2000 or 2001, but their features were removed. One thing the Time Force f uh, figures had, which I loved, was like with a push of a button. There, um, there was a little light show on their helmet, and I was very bummed out when I found out that they didn't have it. I googled like crazy and I could not find anything on these figures. And um, the origin of the variation, what came from, and I tried to 
seek out toy collectors to see if they would know anything but nobody knows anything but anyway so let's um move on from that so this is the time force red ranger they were a huge step up from the light speed guys and i'll explain why the light speed rescue uh, guys they had a fault in their feet their their feet their um their right foot wouldn't go all the way back and i'll show you what i mean right here like this foot will go back but not this one here i don't know if you guys can tell but this foot is a little bit forward than this one right here and as a result it was actually hard to get these figures to stand you had to like play around with the legs or make the figure kind of hunch to make it stand and that's pretty much how all the light speed uh, guys were produced it's not even a faulty figure because i did own this team back in 2000 i think that's when they were released and the same issue but i'm so glad they fixed that is issue with the time force rangers legs Another thing that I never liked about the light speed figures is that um, this is how the arms were attached. So the two halves of the figure was screwed on to uh, this right here. And then the arm had a little hole here and the hole would like fit perfectly and that's how they had their hands were. The reason I didn't like it is over time, I saw this in my old uh, figures is that sometimes the um, edges of that screwed in tab would uh, break apart and the arm would then get bobbly so i never really cared for that and um, is that for articulation they pretty much had the same articulation like uh, see there you go the light speed rescue red ring is already falling so i'm just gonna put him to the back here or well, let's have him seated let's see if he can sit him Cotter can just take it easy. So they pretty much had the same articulation. You could, uh, they had the shoulder articulation up and down, elbow up and down, glove articulation. One thing I loved was the gloves from the Time Force figures. They looked more natural versus the light speed. Like, let me show you light speed. They also used this in Lost Galaxy where, like, uh, they had these shaped gloves that looked unnatural. It looked more manufactured than natural. And the legs, you can go up, down. There was like a 360 point there. And then up and down where the knee joint is. The heads, they didn't move. That's pretty much it. The articulation is pretty much the same in Lightspeed Rescue. The only difference is you couldn't um, move the knee at, at a 360 movement like the Time Force figures. So articulation is a win for the Time Force figures. And as for the details, Time Force wins again because uh, they went through the trouble of uh, adding all these different uh, designs, the black lines, the morpher, everything is nicely detailed. Lightspeed Rescue also has some nice details, but overall the Lightspeed Rescue suit anyways is kind of bland compared to Time Force. I guess it's not really the figure's fault. And one thing I like about Lightspeed Rescue and in a Ranger suit is having a holster. The fact that Time Force never had a holster, I just never cared for that. I'm so used to the sixth Rangers like Zane, uh, like the Silver Ranger, or or what's the other one called, the Gold Ranger, not having a holster, and Titanium Ranger, that it just threw me off and a whole Ranger team didn't have a holster and Quantum Ranger did. So that's pretty much what the differences were with the um, Time Force and Lightspeed figures. <clears throat> and of course, there I go knocking the Ranger figures down. Let me get, uh, let me just grab them. That's the problem with doing like ranger figure reviews is that they fall over so easily that 
um, you just have to play around with them and just be careful, careful around them. And just give me one moment here. I see that's another example of how hard it is to get these ranger figures to stand. And I'm just going to put blue right here. Now let's let's look at the females. I made a custom skirt for like speed rescue uh, pink. So I'm just gonna put them back here. So I'm just not gonna bother like trying to get them to stand. It's those damn legs. Because I put a custom skirt on light speed rescue pink, I won't be able to show you too much of the articulation on the legs. So I'll just pull out the two yellows. Time Force Yellow and Light Speed Yellow. Oops. I already mentioned this, I'll get this out of the way. Light Speed Rescue Yellow is so is definitely my favorite over Time Force Yellow. Only because of how the figures were made. I mean I'm talking in the sense of figures, but if you were talking as which ranges suit looks better, Time Force wins hundred percent. But I'm just talking about figures right now. So I already spoke about why I don't like the female figures of Time Force. So that's my main reason for not prefer not liking the Time Force Ranger females over the Lightspeed Rescue figures. So articulation. I'll show you it on the Time Force figure. The same thing as the guys you had, like the shoulder articulation, elbow, the glove. The foot you can go up and down. Oh, I almost felt like I broke the figure there. I'll try with this foot so you can go up, down. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her feet. And you had like 360 where the boot is. You can go up and down. And Lightspeed Rescue Yellow pretty much had the same articulation. You go up, down, with the shoulders up and down, and move her glove up and down um, with her foot where the knee joint is. And then you can also have, you also have a 360. She had an added feature, which is you could move her um, head. The only reason you could move the Lightspeed Rescue guys' heads were because they had the feature built in, whereas, whereas the Lightspeed Rescue females had the features on their big weapons. With Time Force Yellow, I don't think you could move her head. Well, let me just give it a shot. See, like now she doesn't want to stand either. Let me just put her... So let me check her f head to see if it turns. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. So yeah, so that's the um, female figures for Lightspeed Rescue. And there I go knocking down all the rangers. Lightspeed Rescue is notorious for having hardball legs to stand. And then again, these are vintage figures, but that could also be another reason. So let's look at uh, features and accessories. And by features, I mean whatever features the figures came with. That's something neat that I loved about the Bandai figures is that in the earlier days, like they always came with some kind of neat feature. We never knew like what it would be. I believe um, the features were until Mystic Force or maybe Operation Overdrive. I really. Yeah, I think Operation Overdrive was the last year where they included some kind of feature. After that, they stopped the whole feature gimmick. That was very, very awesome. So, I did state my Time Force figures for the featureless version of the figures. But, um, if you were to compare the feature the Time Force figures had versus Lightspeed Rescue, as, as far as which one would be applicable, I would say the Time Force feature was more applicable and more appropriate because especially when they called their weapons, they would have that real nice light show 
even in the TV show where their helmets did um, <clears throat> light up. As opposed to Lightspeed Rescue, they did like these random... I know blues work, so I'm gonna press blue. They had these like random... Um, which was still really cool, but Time Force gets a point because theirs was their feature was actually in the TV show. Now let's look at the weapons. Lightspeed Rescue came with a ton of weapons. They came with each of their um, respective weapons, like um, Yellow Ranger's claw-like weapon, <laughs> Blue Ranger's weapon. Here's um, <clears throat> Red Ranger's weapon. I, I really like this the best because it reminds me of the Spiral Saber on steroids. We have Pink Rangers. And finally Green Rangers. While these weapons were really awesome, I feel like some of the weapons, especially the girls, their weapons were way too big to the point that holding them would make the um, figure actually fall over and also yellows especially it felt like I was breaking her hand because the way she would hold it is you had to put one hand through here and the other hand through here and knowing how um, knowing how fragile the um, figures could be at times and knowing how rare the figures are, I did not want to take a chance in forcing their hands onto it. And they also came with their standard um, rescue blaster. And um, they also came with um, their rescue baton. I actually do have to walk away to grab it. I do apologize if I grabbed it for the video review. But they had, uh, got, came with this as well. This is the Rescue Blast in Baton mode. And then the Titanium Ranger came with the V Lancer. I really wish I had all five so I could paint them to the respective Ranger's color. He also came with his Titanium weapon. You can go from Axe mode to Blaster mode. He also came with another extra weapon which I actually could not find. It was very nicely detailed. It was the same concept where it's like an Axe weapon that could transform into a blaster. So they did come with a ton of weapons, but what really sucked was that the these oversized weapons could not form the rescue blaster, or rescue bird, sorry, rescue bird and uni laser, that's what it was called. But I'm pretty sure if they made them a little bit smaller, it would, it would have been possible. Now moving on to Time Force. Time Force weapons were very simple. They had these chrono sabers, and you could split them into two with, and uh, you had the two different halves, which is pretty cool. And each of them came with their V weapon, so we got Blue Ranger's V weapon two, Green Ranger's V weapon three, and um, V weapon one. And V Weapon, um, I feel like I'm missing one, isn't there supposed to, oh yeah, there's, there it is. Here's V Weapon 4, and V Weapon 5 is right here. Forgot to separate it. It's really cool. They're nicely detailed as well. And with Time Force, their weapons actually did combine into the Vortex Blaster. I really love weapons combining, like it's, it's one of the best things in the TV show. And even, it does, when, even when the toy company like Bandai goes above and beyond to make sure that their figure weapons can combine, I think that's really cool. Oops, I think I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, there we go. They, and these V weapons are super easy to put on. This is what they look like. So it looks really awesome. And Quantum Ranger came with his, um, oh, I thought I could remember the name, but his gun in sword mode and also his gun. So as far as weapons are concerned, Lightspeed Rescue gets a point for having, like, a 
large number of weapons but time force for show accuracy in terms of being able to combine so definitely i would i would i would say they're they're they kind of equal each other out because while light speed weapons could not combine they gave us a ton of weapons like the rescue bird uh, the rescue bird weapons the v lancer the rescue blaster the blaster in sword mode titanium rangers um weapon the girls also came with extra boots which I actually don't even have with me right now i'm guessing the boots they were to like uh, so the girls could stand properly with them holding the big weapons but again because you really couldn't put the weapons on the girls i think i would give the points to time force because the entire team could hold their weapons without any problem like what's the point of having a weapon if you can't even put it on the figure properly without having the f fear of it breaking the figure and falling over so yeah, actually, the, I scratch what I said. They're not equal. Time Force definitely gets the um, point there. For um, actually gets both points. A for feature, although it's not applicable to my figures because again they don't have the feature. And then weapons being able to combine and all the figures being able to hold their weapons accurately without having to worry that it's gonna fall over. So who's going to be the winner? So for articulation and the overall mold, Time Force wins that category. Then we looked at um, the weapons and accessories. And again, Time Force wins because uh, their weapons not only could combine, but all the team members could hold their weapons without having to worry that the figure is going to fall over or we're going to break the figure if you force such a huge weapon on them and even with feature even though my time force figures did not come with a feature the time force figures that have the feature was a pl uh, was very appropriate because they actually did use that in the tv show versus the random sounds that the lightspeed rangers made i mean that's a really cool feature but i have to get to time force because whenever they call their weapons they're they did have a neat light show that happened on their helmets so only downside of time force which isn't even an issue at all is the females were a little bit bigger than what we're used to with the standard females that's not even a flaw or an issue it's just a preference so like lightspeed had like a few flaws going for them so definitely time force comes as the winner and light speed comes second to them and i actually really enjoyed doing this video review and i do want to do more of these videos uh in the near future who knows maybe i'll do one tomorrow and thank you so much for watching as always and if you guys have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to um ask via comment and always subscribe but like it always helps and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day